Hello people, good morning, good afternoon or good evening depending on which part of the world you're watching me from. I'm actually in Nigeria at the moment so I'll leave you to figure out what time this is. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how to import demo data from your WordPress theme. Now in case you don't have all the time to sit down, to sit down and build your website from scratch, this, this will show you how to do it in a very, maybe half the time. Okay, so, and this is um, the 11th lesson in our series. So if you have not watched from the beginning, please find on the channel from lesson one and watch up to this point. Now, if you have your system set up, get ready so we can do this together. Before then, if today is the very first time of you watching me, Please subscribe, like, turn on the notifications so that anytime we make any new content, you'll be the very first to know. Now, like I always do say, when you grow, we grow. Remember that. Remember that. So if you're ready, let's get started. Right so guys, find your way to the back end, the login page of WordPress. Provide your username and password and click login. So it will take you to the dashboard right here. So on the left pen, um, scroll down all the way to plugins. Now, under plugins, go to add new, click on it, and it will take you to this add plugins page. So, go to the search bar and type this particular plugin starter template. That is the name of the plugin. And at the very first uh, position, this is it, is by element. You can use Elementor, uh, you can use WordPress, and, and, and the like. So, click install and then click on activate. So once it's activated, it will take you to this page where you have um, elegant uh, WordPress themes, more like complete websites with, with the designs and all the assets in there and in different categories. For, the, for instance, this one is for local businesses and this other one is for professionals and the other one is for personal sites. Okay, so, but we're going to look at the e-commerce. So let's see what we can get from e-commerce um, under e-commerce online store you can actually select any one of these that um, fits your purpose so um, these are the e-commerce websites that are ready to be to be used gorgeous i must tell you but if you see the one that has this yellow um, label premium it's paid for but this one that doesn't have is free so we we hunt for a free one you know we love stuff that are free right here so i think this particular one is good i think so you click on it it takes you here this is where this is how the website will look like so you have the option to upload your logo here if you have but in this case we don't have so we will just click skip and continue it takes you to this place where you can change the background color and every other thing the color settings basically this is the pitch where you customize uh, to fit in your brand's color so once you're done just click on continue now it takes you here you can totally look away from these particular spaces you don't need to write anything but if you feel up to fine but everything is good that way so uncheck that share non-sensitive data you check uncheck it and click submit and build my website so in a few um, minutes, uh, you see that the whole website will be set up right there. So you can see your website is ready and it took just three minutes, a little under three minutes, three seconds to build. Who can do that if you are building? So click on view my website. It takes you here. This is how it will look. You have everything on this um, website under your control all the images all the the designs all the all the brand items right there so you go back to wordpress um um back end go to appearance and customize it takes you here so this is where you can actually customize every single detail on this theme you can actually customize it from here but if you want to do it on page for instance if you go to site identity and click on it you can actually remove um, the the site um, um, icon from here you know you can change you can remove the site title and the logo if you click on it it takes you here the name is gobius you can actually remove and put your brand in there to 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 come alive so you can actually click on this small button this small icon to edit on page for instance if you want to change this name okay and you can do same for every other item on this page 
so this is it this is the logo so you can decide to change it from there so if you go back to the dashboard and go to pages and click on all pages it will take you to this place where you can have control of all the pages on the website so if you click open any of these pages it takes you there so you edit it anyhow you want and you go to the media section and media library under the media you go to library we click on it you see that the media library has been populated with top-notch uh, photos that you can use loyal, uh, royalty free photos I, I want to believe uh, that you can use to do a lot more on your website this is how it is done thanks for watching see you in the next video